come before you ashamed. That's right. A little bit. Because I got called out, and rightfully so. I entered this as my pick for a movie you have to see, Black Christmas. I poured all types of praise and accolades on this movie because I sincerely like this movie. I enjoy this movie immensely. It's the original slasher flick. But, Metal Skin Studios, and as I said before, rightfully so, pointed out that I failed to mention one very important part about this movie. It is a Canadian movie. Why is that a big deal? Well, to most people it wouldn't be. A good movie is a good movie. It doesn't matter where it came from. But here's the thing. If this movie had been French-made, I'd have been quick to say this French horror film or this movie from France, or if it had been a Japanese movie, I would have said this J-horror title or this Japanese horror title, I would have made a point to bring that up. And even though Canada is you know, our neighbors to the north, we're hugged right up on each other and we share region codes it is its own entity and thereby deserves the praise that it has coming to it and the credit it is due for turning out such a classic title yes Margot Kidder did star in that movie pre-Superman of course and she played like this really well she was kind of like the the boisterous drunk in the movie the party girl i guess um who didn't take a lot of shit from anybody so that's evident in the in the uh prank phone call scene where she tells the guy where to get off um but she's she's hot okay there's no denying that. I have to agree with that. But also, in that bevy of beauties, was an actress known as Olivia Hasse. I hope I pronounced that right. Olivia Hasse. She played Jess. Um, hot city, baby. Hot city. Whew. Nice. Now, along with those, with, with those gals, there was also Andrea Martin. Andrea Martin, who later on, who later went on to be in the uh, TV series SCTV, very funny lady, uh, along with such greats as John Candy. Uh, she she was in SCTV later on. Andrea Martin also became the house mother in the remake of Black Christmas. Uh, Andrea Martin is what I like to call a babe in waiting. All right, uh, maybe not what anyone would consider hot back then, maybe, I don't know, not to me anyway. She was very average, very plain Jane, glasses, kind of a fro thing going on. Uh, but as she got older, kind of like Rita Moreno, you have to be into older chicks to really dig what I'm saying here. Um, like Rita Moreno, she was okay when she was younger, but as she got older, she just got more, I don't know, Seductive, I guess, if that's if that's the right word. Andrea Martin has a certain look about her, uh, especially in recent years, where it's kind of like, ah, hmm, okay, not so bad. So, yeah. Uh, Black Christmas was a precursor to a lot of different movies. It uh, it was the originator, as far as like slasher flicks go. And as I pointed out, certain formulas that were present in the movie were used in later movies, such as the calls are coming from the from inside the house, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that was the originator. 
But most importantly, most importantly, it is a Canadian film. So let's give props to Canada. Black Christmas and Tim Hortons Donuts. I'm sold. I'd also like to take this time to give a very sincere shout out to Metal Skin Studios. Um, not just for calling me out for the right bastard that I am, but because I really enjoy his videos. I really like the way he lays things out on the line. Um, he talks. He talks about some very. Uh, he talks about varying subjects, and he just says it as it is, which I've always appreciated. When somebody brings something to the table and speaks from the heart and says exactly what's on their mind, no pulling punches, no holding back, I have a huge appreciation for that kind of thing. Uh, Mike, 81 Ochre STF, same thing. When I first started like really checking out the community on YouTube, uh, his were some of the first videos that I saw, and I was just blown away by the way he would just describe these movies and just say it the way it was. Uh, didn't dance around it, didn't try to sugarcoat it, just like, there it is, this is what's in the movie. And sometimes, for, for the regular moviegoer, it was probably a little harsh to hear. Uh, so on Metal Skin Studios' channel, um, Thorgasm is the name that he has written there. Is that, that's a cool name, by the way. I like that. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, he'll sit there and, and just, he'll talk intelligently and really bring things to the table and really just say it as it is so definitely check out metal skin studios uh, sub and friend or just at least sub uh, you won't be sorry his videos are just awesome stuff really great to great to watch I, I like I, I like watching his videos I was it was brought to my attention by Mike on a, I believe on Facebook he posted a video of his and said, uh, this is the reason why YouTube is great, and, and I went to check out the video, I was like, wow, this guy just blew me away, so, guy yeah, definitely had to sub and friend, so yeah, definitely check out Metal Skin Studios, of course, the link will definitely be below, I'd also like to take the time to give a little bump to an up-and-coming channel, it's just starting, there's, there's really nothing going on yet, but I, I, foresee some fairly cool stuff coming from this channel. Uh, if you're into paranormal investigations and paranormal subjects, this may be the channel for you. Um, if you're familiar with Hero Him 2, I've talked about them quite a bit. Uh, one of the guys on there, Matt, has another channel, and his channel is Paranormal Inside NJ. Um, from what they had stated, they're going to be riding around to different haunted locations, and I'm going to be driving around in a hearse, which I think is kind of cool. I've always wanted a hearse, uh, but apparently his dad is a mortician, which is, hey man, you got to give him props there, that is, that is hip. So, uh, as much as I enjoy watching the Hero Him 2 videos, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy watching these just as much. Uh, Paranormal Inside NJ, I will leave that link below as well. And someone I just recently subbed and friended. Uh, both on YouTube and on Facebook, <clears throat> a very talented, talented young lady. Uh, she goes by the name Undead Artist 87. Um, now on her YouTube channel, she has the name Beatrice. On on the on the Facebook channel, there's a different name there. I forgot what it was, but I'm going to go with Beatrice because that's what it said on the YouTube channel. Uh, she is the sister of. Matt, uh, Matthew 37, or 38, I'm sorry, God, brain fart, completely, Matthew 38, which is it, I'm lost, crap, anyways, it's a sister, and she does the baddest ass art, I mean, if you go check out her videos, just don't take my word for it, stop, stop taking my word, I'm not going to pump her art and, and tell you how good it is. Just go to her channel, check out her videos, um, specifically the Pinup Girl video and Slice of Fried Gold, I think it was called. 
check out those two pieces. I'm telling you, awesome stuff. I would love to commission her to do like a special drawing just for me, and and I, I would frame that and hang it. It's just really that cool. So uh, yeah, Undead Artist eighty seven. I'll also put that link below, and I'll put Matt's link again because I totally jacked up his link. So <laughs> sorry, Matt. I didn't do that on purpose, man. We're getting up there in age. I'm, I'm a little old. But yeah, definitely check out all those channels. All of them. That's Metal Skin Studios, uh, Paranormal Inside NJ, Undead Artist 87, and Matthew's channel. I'm not going to say it again because I'm going to mess it up again. I know I will. But that's it for now, guys. And again, my apologies to Canada and the Canadian people. Thank you so much for Black Christmas. An incredible movie. An awesome movie. Should be enjoyed by everyone. And now I feel redeemed. All right. Thanks, guys. As always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for watching, and I'll be talking to you again very, very soon.